What's up guys? Today we are doing a fair few things. I am going to be cleaning off some of my engine parts, uh, like the gasket bits, so making the gasket surfaces really nice and clean. Uh, clean them off so they're ready for painting and stuff like that. Uh, I sent my old crank to the engine shop yesterday, the, the second crank, to see which one was better out of the two and which one I'm going to use. And then I have also um, got my other order in from America from Fly Miata. Hopefully that should be here soon and I can give the pistons to the engine shop so they can... Um, I've already bought it out, they just need to hone it to the, uh, the pistons, so each piston has a separate cylinder. Um, and I'm also going to give them the rods and the new bearings just to make sure all the clearances are, are right. Um, yeah, so I've got the head back. I need to get a rotary tool so I can uh, polish all those ports up. Uh, I'm going to strip down the new head today. I'm also going to be... Um, trying to clean this out a little bit more it looks pretty clean so far at the moment but I need to I still need to um, cut out some of the loom and also I'm going to be taking this mirror off and just seeing where all these um, this mirror and this door card off so I can see where all the loom and stuff goes because there's not going to be any door cards when I'm done um, I'm taking even more stuff out basically um, it's gonna be super light roll bar needs to go in at some point that may be even going today it depends or tomorrow um, but yeah basically stuff just needs to start happening with this car I need to start getting stuff done Billy's coming around because I'm going to weld his diff today so I was gonna get him taking out the diff uh, I might film a bit of him taking out the different stuff and then welding it up and putting it back in or hopefully what I'm hoping is it's one of the ones where if you jack it up and drop the the kind of rear axle down a bit you can undo the bolts and then weld while it's in the car um, but yeah I might need some new welding wire because I'm running a bit short um, it's not the best welder to be welding this stuff with it's just a, a little flux uh, gasless welder but the more material put in there, the better. And then uh, it just, yeah, it just won't happen. It just won't uh, blow up because it'll just be really, really, really welded together. Turn the, turn the strength all the way up. So you've got maximum penetration and yeah, just go to town, I guess. So gonna give that a go. And um, yeah, may need some new wire for that. The head I'm gonna take apart when um, more people turn up because I need a hand with the spring compressor there. Uh, someone to spring compress it and then uh, use a magnet to take the little collets out um, and then that head can go somewhere out of the way which I don't know where I can put it out of the way and um, yeah I guess that's about it so let's get on with it um, as I said there's a lot of stuff to be done today we're also going to first hearts five meet of the year so this is the what used to be an MX5 group that uh, I am an admin of. Uh, I joined it like a year or two ago, and yeah, I slowly became more and more involved, and then ended up um, becoming someone who kind of helped organise uh, events and stuff. So this is the first monthly meet of the year. If any of you guys, it's not MX5s anymore; it's quite an open group now. So if any of you guys are around Hertfordshire area. Uh, and you want to come to a meet go check out hearts 5 on Facebook and join the group and then you can come down It's a really nice little uh, Group of people uh, to hang out with that's why I got so drawn into it just because the people there are Really awesome guys uh, always help you out in a pickle. So yeah, go check out hearts 5 See what it's about, but yeah first hearts 5 year uh, monthly meet is today So we're going to head down there, and I'll get some video of that uh, I don't know how many people are going to be turning up. It might be like, a few, might be not so many. I don't know. Because um, a lot of the time people's cars aren't done or... Yeah. Just, you, you know what it's like being a car guy, guys. Hey guys, so Billy's turned up. He's sat here reversing out of my uh, driveway. I was just looking at the fuel lines and kind of how I'm going to have to run them to make the returnless system work properly with a proper fuel pressure regulator. And it looked like it's going to be a bit annoying, but it will work. It will work. They've basically taken a T piece um, off of the filter 
uh, like out once it goes into the filter when it comes out they've teed it off so it goes into up to the engine bay and then also back into the return and then they have like a little fuel pressure regulator that isn't adjustable or anything in the engine bay that just kind of gives it enough pressure and then um, sends the rest back to come out of that T-piece which we basically need to put a proper fuel pressure adjustable fuel pressure regulator onto the T-piece uh, in the uh, out the back and also that's going to help with weight over the back axle um, also I need to get the wing mirrors off and put the carbon fiber ones on uh, take the door cards off and like look at all the wiring for the heated um, not heated the electric mirrors and those are going to be going on Tamsin's car we're going to get them painted uh, I don't know how it's going to turn out I'm hoping it's going to be pretty good uh, putting the Mark 2.5 mirrors on a Mark 1 uh, I haven't actually really seen any of them with Mark 2.5 mirrors but it means the Tamsin is going to have electric mirrors uh, and they're they, they're a bit more kind of sturdy than the Mark 1 the Mark 1s are a bit flappy and old and yeah I don't really like the look of them either so they kind of suit the car though because they're quite bubbly um, but we'll see how it goes we're going to get them painted in the mariner blue and then uh yeah fit those on and then obviously wire it up because they're electric mirrors which is going to be um, a little bit of a faff but we'll make it work and also today we're going to have to be cleaning the gaskets off the engine and billy's going to be taking his diff out while all this is happening and then i'm going to wear the diff for him so we are back at the garage now billy's got most of his stuff from halfords yeah uh he's got uh, diff oil, brake cleaner, rags, wire brushes. The rest of the guys have turned up but they've gone to Tesco's but we need to quickly swap the cars around so we're going to wait for them to get back with some food. Uh, in here we are going to be stripping down the head. There we go. We're going to be stripping down the head here um, which is very oily right now so we're going to clean up all that oil. Clean off all the gasket stuff off the bits I'm using here, so like the old gasket, clean it off with um, a blade and some scotch bry. So we're going to be cleaning that off, and then I'm also going to be getting the mirrors off, having a look at the wiring for that, and quite a few other bits. So, yeah, hopefully, the guys get back soon. We're going to start working on that car now, and we shall see how far we get. So, first port of call. Let's, let's start taking the mirrors off and see where we get with that. So, we'll come back to you in a sec. What are you hammering off? The, oh, yeah. Because they're really annoying to do. What are you doing, Taylor? I'm peeling off this stuff. No, mm. Nice. This is a. Uh, I think this is broken, Taylor. Normally, that looks like a. That looks like Connor's car. <laughs> but he, was, Connor's mirrors are actually like they were half fine, but they're just scratched up. But I just hit them off with a hammer because I felt like it. Hmm. But yeah, this is this is what it's going to look like from now on. No door card. I'm not having a door card either. Because it's full race car. Going full race, guys. It's not my daily anymore, so yeah. Hopefully, it'll be in the 900 kilogram range with its like wet weight. I want it to be wet under a ton. That's my aim. But I'm putting. Please explain to the viewers what it means by wet weight. Wet weight. So fuel tank, full tank of petrol, and. Uh, full like oil, coolant, like everything, all the fluids are in there, so yeah, most um, So now they, every, uh, everyone watching knows what wet weight means? Yeah, including me. Manufacturers do like a wet weight and a dry weight normally. Pure race car porn right here guys. I picked these up, no joke, with the little MX-5 adapter plate and everything, 70 quid for two. It's pretty good. Same as the headlight covers I got for fifty pounds. It was from the same guy who was breaking his uh, his track Mark One, and yeah, he had these in the carbon fiber headlight covers, and I just couldn't resist because the weight of this, the weight of this, 
with all the motors and everything in it. This is actually quite heavy. So two of those, one on each side. This is what makes, it's these little things that make the SVT, the, the sport version of the MX-5, quite a lot heavier. Is all the little things like ABS, heated seats, electric mirrors, it's all that sort of little stuff that makes them heavier from factory than like their Mark 1s or Mark 2s. So, yeah, it's all going ultra light. I can't wait to see how much it weighs. But, look at this guys, look how, look how good that looks. With, with the carbon fiber wing, it's got the blue tint so, um, uh, other people's lights don't really blind you. Yeah, it's concave. Yeah. Okay guys, so, so far, we have cut out some of the loom, cleaned up the engine bay a little bit more, we've taken out the airbag sensor, we've taken out a few other little bits. We've got the wing mirror on here, which at the moment is a bit loose, but I'm gonna set it where I want it and just put a bit of super glue in there and no one else is gonna have them. Like, it's just gonna be set to how I like it. So, that's what I'm gonna do with those. Um, the door card is all completely taken off and all the wires are out the door. Let me just take the camera off you. So, that's how the door's looking. Um, we have, yeah, basically stripped a load of stuff out, um, throwing it all in the bin, so like, all the wire ends and stuff. Um, it all adds up and also it doesn't look very nice when there's just loose wires which aren't actually plugged into anything everywhere. So that's all gone. Hopefully save a little bit of weight on that. But now we are going to be taking this head apart and laying out all the bits um, ready for um, putting together. And then we are going to be, um, I'm going to be porting this later on. So I need all the space that I can get here really so I can... Um, do it out of the way so we need to find somewhere to put the head once we have taken all the bits out of it but we're going to do that now and um, hopefully they should be done with the diff soon so we can start welding that we've just got the diff out it's starting to get dark it's starting to rain Tamsin just showed up and we just put our headlight covers on let me just show you the diff basically what's happened is we've got the diff out now and we need a drain plug key, which we haven't got, which uh, Sam and Billy have gone to Halfords now to go get the drain plug key. Um, all my batteries are dying. Um, yeah, it's raining, as you can see over there. Um, these are Townsend's headlight covers, which we just put on. Um, this has come out a bit hazy, and this one's all right. Um, camera's getting all wet. So I'm going to try and minimalise going outside with the camera. Hopefully it's not too wet when we go to the meet. That's going to be fine. Um, in terms of engine stuff, I had, didn't actually get much. Didn't manage to get much done because I was helping Billy get the diff out and then um, fitting terms of his headlight covers, which I didn't get a video of because it started to rain and we're basically trying to speed everything up now. I haven't actually got a lot done. I stripped down the rest of the head and took the valves out. So. Here's all the valves out. The valve springs are up there. Ooh. Yeah, valve springs. Um, new heads there. Cleaned off all of that. Uh, old head is down there for now. Um, I got the this all stripped off and the mirror put on on this side and. Here's the mirror. Um, batteries are in charge for the meat. Uh, engine bay, I cut a little bit of the wiring out of there. So that's a little bit better. Just waiting on the guys to get back from Halfords, which have been quite a while. This is the gearbox oil, as you can see. Uh, here's the new drain plug key set. That he got um, so if you're doing a BMW diff the 318 E36 oh, you need a 14 mil one of those yeah remember that it's, it's annoying if you go back to the shop three times <laughs> three times yeah that's so 
This is the actual diff part. If you turn it with me, yeah. No, with me, oh, yeah. The whole diff should turn. Yeah. Oh, but it wants to get it. He wants to get up. Ready? So basically, that's when the diff's turning, and then if one wheel stops, yeah. you keep moving. That's basically so one wheel can rotate and the other one stays in place. That's so, what one wheel pillars. And then, so we're going to lock these out so they have to turn together like that. So Which it's going to be one solid do. unit. So. Mm. Look at that drainage. Mm. Drain. Hopefully we don't get too much. Wait, maybe I should. What's this for? Burns all the old oil out. Ah. Cleaning the diff out. Ready for a weld. There's stuff down there, but shouldn't be that bad. You can't really see it. Is that liquid? Much. No. You see a little bit. But I mean, we're only going to be here, so it should be fine. Is this you putting on Taylor? Water base anti splatter spray <coughs> for welding. So it's dark now. Um, finally got my hat back from Mike. Thank you. <laughs> uh, the diff is done. We're just uh, trying to break up any little uh, pieces that are on these teeth. Like you can see, there's a little ball there. And uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So on the pinion and the crown, we're just trying to clear it up. But if I quickly. It's stiff because it's like it's a lot of metal. <laughs> oh, too much. Why is that so hard to turn? Oh, I don't know. Because there's like little bits of metal in there. There you go. So, you can see it. It's not, it's not the prettiest. Big as fuck. But, it's filled. And it's gonna work. Now yeah, that's with flux core. Um, no gas, so gasless. Yeah. So, and now we're gonna just, just, just try to get all the balls out. As, as uh, Hangar Garage would call it, Harbour Freight welded. <laughs> um, you can do it. So, Billy has just finished doing the diff install. And uh, well done, Bill. Cheers, brother. Start this baby up. Let's see if it leaks. Just make sure it doesn't leak. Shouldn't leak, but. Just... Run it up, second gear. Don't break, just keep it rolling. Run it up! Fourth! Fifth! Give it some beans! Give it some beans! So I've just turned up at the station car park and I crashed into Ben on purpose in the white Volvo over there and I think I smashed his headlight. <laughs> so um, yeah, Ben did a little burn out because um, I crashed into him and he got a bit upset. And um, yeah, basically that's what's happening so far. So we're at the meet and I'll video a bit more once I say hello to everyone. And Brian. Oh yeah, it's got the new wheels. This is from the video. Of picking up Turbo. Hi there. Hi. <laughs> I'm sitting. I'm sitting in the car. Sorry. That's fine. See. Right. Well, they Lomax. Oh, they're actually really comfortable. It's a very comfortable seat. Bride Lomax. This is the car that. It's like this. Except that bit's fallen off. Oh well.
So that's it for today guys. I'm letting myself out the Volvo as always because the doors are locked. Go ahead, like down below if you like this video, comment what you thought, subscribe if you want to see more and I shall catch you guys in the next one.